Hello and welcome. A new case of probability, basic calculations, and let us take uh, this time a problem having the information in terms of odds in favor of any event or odds against any event, and also involving the case of two independent events. The case is. The present age of A is 35 years. The odds in favor of his living up to the age 65 are 3 is to 2. The odds in favor of his living up to the age 65 are 3 is to 2. So we can conclude that the odds in favor that A to live 30 more years are 3 is to 2. Odds in favor. So the first number out of the ratio stands for in favor and the second against. The age of another person B is 40 years at present. The odds against his living up to the age of 70 are 4 is to 1. The odds against B to live 30 more years. The against. So the first out of 4 is to 1, 4 stands for against because the information given in the order the odds against. So the first value out of the ratio stands for against and the second for in favor. This is a very small rule you have to remember. Now this is the scenario. We are interested in find the probability that at least one of them will be alive after 30 years. At least one out of A and B will be alive out of, uh, after 30 years. So there are two persons A and B. So let us use A sign A and B to indicate A, A will live 30 more years and B means B will live 30 more years. Now A's living 30 more years is not dependent on B's living or not living. Similarly, B's living 30 more years is not dependent on A's living or not living. That means A and B are two independent events. And what is the result of being uh, events being independent the intersection is multiplication of the probability of two events p of a intersection b equals to p of a into p of b that is the effect of the events being independent now what is the question find the probability that at least one of them will be alive after 30 years probability of at least one can be calculated yes probability of at least one can be calculated in many ways but I personally suggest to use the addition theorem because that is the easiest way to calculate the probability of the term at least one. So, probability of at least one means probability of union of these two. And we know that to calculate the probability of union of two events, first we should have P of A as well as P of B. Now, P of A and P of B. What is A? A will live 30 more years. Chances are 3 against 2. That means total chances are 5 in favor and against. Out of which 3 stands for favor. So P of A is 3 divided by 3 plus 2, 5. Similarly, P of B, that is B will live 30 more years in favor 1 out of 1 plus 4, 5. Now just substitute formula of union. Now we know that A and B are two independent events. So it will be ultimately like this. Three by five 
plus 1 by 5 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 5. That means 3 by 5 plus 1 by 5 minus 3 by 25. Let us simplify it. <coughs> LCM can be taken as 25. 25 divided by 5 means 5. 5 into 3 means 15. Plus sign. 25 divided by 5. 5 into 1, 5. Minus sign. 25 divided by 25, 1. Minus 3 is, into 3 is 3. So ultimately it comes to 17 by 25. So the probability that at least 1 out of A and B will be alive out of after 30 years comes to 17 by 25. I repeat, to use the addition theorem for the purpose of calculating probability of at least 1 is the easiest possible way. Otherwise, we can calculate the probability of at least 1 in many other ways. Thank you.